Hi, you guys. Here's something. I ordered something off at Instacart, and I ordered it last night, and they had exactly what it was that I needed at a really reasonable price. So I went ahead and ordered, and I added things to my order so that I can get the free delivery, right? Well, today, I was like, I've never even heard of that store. So I did some research to find out where that store was, and it's all the way, like, 45 minutes away, okay? So I'm like, wow. So I went to go online to see if I can up the guy's um, tip on it because I'm like, he's gonna even, he's gonna not gonna even break even with the tip that he gets and the gas that he has to spend. That just isn't right. So while I'm doing that, I, I notice on the receipt that it says that there's an extended or a long distance fee, and the long distance fee is like ten dollars. And I'm like thinking, who has ten dollars just to throw away just because? I sure don't. So I'm kind of bummed about that. So I contacted the um, delivery company and I was like, hey, I had no idea that there was this long distance fee on there until I went to go research it today in order to up the guy's tip. And she said, oh, well, we can go ahead and um, cancel the order for you if you'd like. I'm like, the guy's already on his way. He's already checked out. He's like 10 minutes away from me right now. You would rather have to pay a $65 bill versus reimburse $10? I don't understand that. How does that make any sense? She said, sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. I said, I understand that. I'm just really disappointed because the thing that I actually was making the order for, they only had one of the 10 items. So I'm kind of bummed. And I'm really sad about the situation. And I asked her, I said, does the driver at least get that $10 from the long distance delivery? And she says, well, I can't really speak on that, but I know that the driver gets their share. I said, so when they get the share, does that mean that they get the, the $10 plus my tip? Or is it just the 10, I mean, is it just the tip? She goes, oh, well, he gets his share. How is that right, folks? How does the extra long distance fee go to the delivery company. I mean, the delivery company isn't the one who's making the extra trip. It's the poor driver. That's bogus. And she's like, well, if you want me to walk you through the process of upping the guy's um, tip, I'm more than happy to do that. I said, thank you for offering, but I don't have the extra money to give the driver for the tip now because I had to pay the long distance fee. And I'm still baffled at the fact that how in the world would they want to rather reimburse the $65 for the charge of the whole um, fee, that means a guy would lose out on his tip because the whole order is canceled. He'd lose out on his tip. He wouldn't even get paid for his gas to come the far this distance as he's already gone. It just isn't right. So needless to say, I'm keeping my order and I'm letting it stay as it is, just so he doesn't get thrown under the bus. But it's just not right, you guys. We've got to do better. People are doing delivery because it's a way to make money. It's their, you know, some of it, it's not their part time, it's their full time. And if they're spending all this gas in order to get from here to there, I'm sorry, $10 is not gonna even cut the gas that it took for him to get out here and go back home. It's so sad. We gotta do better, folks. And I don't have the money to give him the guy that any more money. So I don't know what to do about it. Anywho, I just wanted to share and I wanted to ask if you guys know if the delivery driver actually gets that extra $10 for the long distance fee because it would make me feel a lot better about it because the lady on the chat didn't seem to know or she couldn't tell me specifically. She just said he gets a share. A share of $10 is not enough to cover his gas. So if anyone knows, please leave it in the comments and let me know. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.